Hi guys, Ready Glass got here once again with another video. Um, want to get to a video about um, the protesting, the women protesters on inaugural weekend. Uh, wasn't able to get to it because, like I said before, in my previous videos, that my internet was going in and out all week. So let's get fixed tomorrow. However, this weekend it's it's gotten a little better, um, so I've been posting some videos. So I'm gonna do it now. Now, first off, um, what do we have over the Nurgle weekend was a bunch of basically uneducated 60s era throwback, retarded, and in many fucking cases, paid women protesters. Okay? Now, don't get me wrong. You guys know me. If you watch my videos, I have no problem with people protesting. It's your, it's your constitutional right. Um, I do not, um, believe you have the right to trash it for no reason. Um, like they did over that weekend. And also, in many cases, some of these people were paid by Soros to various organizations, just like he did to the general and the primaries. So, those people aren't fucking protesters, those are fucking employees. Hell, most of those fucking people there weren't sure what the fuck they were protesting about. They just didn't like fucking Trump, so they just came up with whatever the fuck came into their mind. Now, is there anything? Women were protesting, protesting shit for rights that they already fucking have. The fuck are you protesting? You know, shit. And then they... <laughs> it's just stupid. And then shortly after, like the following week, uh, a couple days later, they had the March for Life. And they didn't cause no protest. I mean, they were, you know, had a rally. They weren't really protesting. But they didn't damage anything. They didn't leave fucking shit on the ground. They kept it clean. Those are real protesters. That's how you did it correctly. These fucking people are just protesting for bullshit. Then you had Madonna, Ashley Judd, who the fuck else did you have there? Um, Scarlett Johansson. Mm. Oh, um, what's her fucking name? Miley Cyrus. Chef. Of all the fucking people, okay. Again, stupid fucking people. That haven't got a fucking clue. Again, liberal fucking Hollywood. So, but here's my thing. Let me tell you something how good women have it here. Just as fucking proof is how good women have it here in the United States. That these women are one bitch about that they have nothing. Go fucking march in another fucking country and do that shit. Go to the fucking Middle East. Go where they have fucking Sharia law and shit like that. And see how fucking far you get on that protest. Hell, they probably stone and kill half the fucking protesters. Gang rape the other half of you. And then when they're done with that, kill you. That's how fucking good you have it here. In many other countries, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, during murder, um, especially uh, these ones where you want all these immigrants, they just say, oh, well, we need to be good for immigration, da, da 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 They don't fucking care about you women. In their country, women don't have fucking rights. In those countries, women aren't equal to men. Hell, men won't even cherish, even begin processing that thought process that women are equal. In many of them countries, women don't rank above a domesticated animal. That's how good you have it here. Here you are equal to men. Yes. Don't get me wrong, there are a few scumbags out there that don't think men or women are equal to men. And that's what process thinking. But most of us do. We think you're equal to men. I have no fucking problem with it. Now, here, um... <clears throat> so here in the States, you don't have to worry about that shit. You got equality. Be fucking thankful. Now I'm going to go through. I've got some notes here i got to look at. Because I want to make sure I get this good. Let's go through here. Um, let's see here. Some of the signs I had seen. Oh. Equal pay for equal work. You already have that fucking shit. You already have... Sorry, the law, equal pay for equal fucking work. A woman is to be paid the same amount of man, 
who has the same education and experience as her counterpart. And vice versa. So what the fuck are you protesting? Do you not fucking know this? Now, you're not entitled if you're coming fresh out of fucking college with no fucking experience when you go up against a man who has a couple years experience plus college and has a couple years in you do not deserve that equal pay. You have to earn it. I mean, Jesus Christ, ladies. If you're getting paid less than a fucking man and, you're, and, who has, and you have the same experience and the same seniority, basically, and you're getting paid less, that's your fucking problem. Go to the... Go that's when you go to the Better Business Bureau. That's when you go to the fucking Labor Board. That's when you go to your fucking state representative and fucking bring that shit right. That's your fucking job. Government ain't gonna come in and fucking do it for you if they don't know. It's your job to let them know. And the sad thing, here, here's something. Okay? If you're not smart enough to do that, I, 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 number one, I, I don't feel for you. And that's your fuck up. Um, here's what's funny. A couple years ago, I remember seeing an article. Um, with, uh, oh, they were interviewing, um, Jennifer Lawrence. Of all fucking people to get this right. And I like Jennifer Lawrence. Um, they were interviewing her just about such a thing. And she was stating about, the, I'm going to paraphrase this article. I'm going to go paraphrase here, that they're discussing about one of the films she was on and how her co-stars in the same film, film, the men, were paid a bit more than she was. Come to find out that they negotiated a better contract. So she sat there and realized, well, maybe if I sat and negotiated my contract a bit better, realizing my worth, maybe I could have got paid a bit more. And she's fucking right. God damn. How do you think guys get such good payments? Not because we're fucking men. We know how to negotiate. So you know what? What happens now? She fucking realizes that. She negotiates better. Now she's one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood currently. She learned from her fucking mistake. You know? Shit. That's what most fucking men will do when they come in. That they know their worth. And someone, some women are smart enough to fucking figure this out. If you know your worth, what you're bringing, and what your experience is, what your education is, and come in, you can negotiate a fucking higher wage. You can, you can negotiate a higher wage than what they're offering you per hour per company if they need you bad enough. Hell, I got people at my fucking work to do that. I have, I, and they're women. A lot more women. I encourage it. If, if, if you can get you a better wage, with your experience, and you know they need you bad enough, I applaud you. Some people in my work don't like that idea, but I'm saying, well, too fucking bad. That be fucking smart. You know, it's not always about pay. Some get a higher pay, that's fine, and some get better schedule time. They want to be home with the family more, so they take less hours. That's what's important to them. And I, again, I applaud it. If you can get it, go for it. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. If you want equality, I have no fucking problem with it. Now, Speaking of equality, I have no problem with any job. I believe any woman can do pretty much any job a man can do equally, provided. Here's the catch. Even in the military, provided you take the same tests, especially in the military. There's no reason if you're going to become a Navy SEAL that you be trained less and have a easier test than man. No, if you're going to be a SEAL, you take the exact same fucking test. Now, do you have to lift five fucking hundred pounds? Fuck no. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. Don't have to lift five hundred pounds. I do 450, that's fine. But you need to have the exact same... No, I take it back. No, you should learn to lift five hundred pounds. If you want to be with big boys, you need you need to learn and do the exact same training. Because in a battlefield situation, the enemy ain't going to give a fuck about you. They're not going to take it easy on you. Same with the police department. Take the same fucking training. Take the same physical requirements. And I think the men should have to pass them too. They don't pass them, they don't qualify. I'm, you know, I'm going to even see you in person on that. I have no problem with equality. But it needs to come up for both both areas. You can't just want equality and just want all the good. you got to take the bad along with it. Because that's just not fucking fair. So and that's what a lot of men think too. They just don't want to fucking say it. Oh, they'll say it, but they won't say it to your face. I'm saying it to your face. I say it to fucking people's faces right now. Well, let's see here. Let's go on to another one here before I get too long on that one.
Let's see, what's the other signs I've seen here? Um, uh, someone who call oh, these were, this, this was rich. Someone who calls people names or is lewd is a bad example to children. And who the fuck do these upstanding fucking citizens bring with them to this march? They're fucking children. He's a fucking good leader now. So, you bring your fucking children trying to say, these are the people you should not be doing this. You bring them right around fucking the same thing you're saying you don't want to bring them. People with signs that have lewd comments, disgusting with the word pussy, the word fucker, all sorts of shit. And then you got some half-naked fucking women there. Yeah, that's a good fucking quality parent right there. You fucking hypocrite. Fucking moron. You're an idiot. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Jesus, we got... You're morons doing that. So, yeah. That's some of the other signs that see here. We want jobs, not this or that. What the fuck do you think he... What the fuck do you think he's been doing? This That was direct towards Trump. We want, you know, we want this or that. What the fuck do you think he's been doing since he got elected? Even as president-elect, he's trying to either keep jobs here or bring in fucking more jobs, which he's been doing. God damn, it's all over the place. Either he's kept jobs here, they were meant to go, or he's made sure to keep in writing that jobs are going to stay here, or he's getting commitments to bring jobs back into the United States. He's bringing you your fucking jobs. Do you not fucking understand this? Quit watching the fucking mainstream media. Get some fucking brains. Don't watch CNN. Don't watch MSNBC. Oh, God, stay away from ABC and NBC. My name's Fox is a hit or a fucking mess, but if you're going to watch anything, watch Fox. Stay away from MSNBC. Stay away from CNN. They've done nothing but lie from the start. Um, come, here, come here to my fucking channel. Come to the Independence. We'll give you some good shit. Um. So... You know, and especially now he's got more power, he's bringing back more jobs, he's getting more things out of the way. Now he does, he can get more better, stronger promotes. So they're bringing back fucking jobs, so that's a fucking stupid point. Uh, let's see, some other signs. Um, my body, my right, my decision. whoop de fucking do Real vs. Wade is still in effect, ladies. Jesus Christ, it ain't going anywhere. Supreme Court has to take care of that shit. It's gonna take a very long time. And, you know, I don't think I'll, you'll still get your fucking abortions. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, all he said is when there's a detection of fucking life, once it's improved that there's life, then you probably shouldn't have an abortion. Without extenuating circumstances. Okay, I'll give you that when extenuating circumstances. There's several reasons I would agree for an abortion. But right now, do you really think he's worried about fucking abortions? Fuck no, he's got more fucking things important to take care of in the economy. Now that he's signing an order to reinstate a Mexican law, now they call it the Mexico uh, border law, whatever, where, we, where the federal funding does not go and get paid for federal abortion, uh, um, foreign abortions. Yes. Does it affect you here in the States? No. Get over it. Um, are they trying to get make it where maybe Planned Parenthood can't have, get federal funding for abortions? Yes. That doesn't mean you can't pay for it. That doesn't mean that Planned Parenthood... Here's another thing. With all this Planned Parenthood bullshit, where the fuck are all these private entities that claim who went to keep Planned Parenthood open? Go for private f funding. Private donations. You'll get it. Put these fucking rich fucking Hollywood motherfuckers who claim to be pro, um, pro-choice, put their fucking feet to the fire. Let them put it in a fund. Let them fucking pay for the abortions. Our money should not be going to fucking killing, um, abortion. That's the way I take on it. Do you think should other reasons to have an abortion? Yes. So I'm not totally against it. Um, that's why I'm kind of in the middle on the fence on it. Yeah, I've, I've always been that way. Um, there's no real way I've been found to say, Oh, uh, you, you shouldn't be totally pro-choice or no, pro totally pro-life. I'm always in the middle. I've always been in the middle. Because there's good, strong arguments for both sides. And as far as denying funds to Planned Parenthood on the abortions, that's not going to cripple the fucking thing. 
And here's the other thing you need to learn about Planned Parenthood. It doesn't do a lot of shit. It refers a lot. It barely does anything. It does a lot of abortions. It doesn't do much else. You can spend that fucking funding in other clinics and give women free fucking um, clinics. Um, free health care. And you get a lot more of them throughout the fuck thing. I mean, there's only like, what, 1,500 clinics or there's 30, uh, for Planned Parenthood, something like that. And there's like over 3,000 clinics for everything else. Yeah, you could spend that more bang for your buck elsewhere. You're just paying for the fucking name. So, as you can see, this fucking march, uh, Women's March, during the uh, protest during the inauguration weekend was a total crap load of absolute bullshit. No fucking nothing. Oh, they want to bitch about the fucking environment. What the hell they do? They leave all their fucking signs all over the place. Trash the whole fucking city. Yeah. Well, here's funny. The pro-lifers came in. Not sure after them. Just as fucking many. Just about as many. There was no fucking trash left around. None of them got fucking arrested. None of them swore. And carried lewd signs. In the speaker's box. You probably didn't even know that. Because half of the... Pretty much the majority of the mainstream media didn't carry it. Fox carried it. Um, did MSC? I think MSC, maybe MSNBC took part of it. So, yeah, I know if you had a lot on Facebook and YouTube about it. So, yeah. Again, the wind protest was bullshit. If you want to fucking protest, protest about something that you actually don't have. Oh, I want same rights as a fucking gun. You fuck, the stupid bitch. I seen that on a couple stupid bitches' side. And really, okay. I'll give you the same fucking rights as a fucking gun. Okay, you can't go on a fucking campus. You can't go in a fucking movie theater. You can't get anything without a fucking back background check. I'll give you this fucking rights. You think you're fucking a pest right now? You ain't seen nothing. Give you the same rights as a gun. Stupid motherfuckers. They're supposed to be fucking smart. And I'm not lumping all you women in. There's, there's some smart women out there. The women who went to these fucking marches. And believed in these marches. And I got some friends on fucking Facebook who believed in this shit. So you gotta be fucking out of your mind. The funny thing is, all them green when I start posting shit on Facebook, well, yeah, yeah, maybe you're right, Glasgow. So, anyway. This video is getting kind of long, um, which I knew it would be. Um, tell me what you think. Go down below, you know, you like it, dislike it, make a comment, and then subscribe. And always, guys, you better Glasgow, you guys take care, and I will see you next time.